So, Joe's at work. I've got a day off to myself. So, I thought I'd come and scout out the uh, Delamere Forest. Uh, we went shooting with Simon Bax, I think, last week or the week before. And, yeah, got me interested in shooting a bit of, uh, a bit of woodland. So, out and about today. There's pretty much no light, it's pretty dull. Um, got out of bed too late. Um, so yeah, it's probably gonna be more of a scouting day. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Maybe there's gonna be something interesting. Maybe the sun's gonna shine through. You never know. Unless you get out there, you never know. Well, let's, let's keep looking. Okay, so I find a tiny composition, and when I say tiny, I mean tiny down there with some mushrooms. And they've, <laughs> they've lined up in a pretty funny way, that's from smallest to the largest. And behind it, apart from the train, um, it's just dense forest. So, in a way, the fact that the light's dull is working out pretty well for me so far, at least with this particular composition, because there's no... <sighs> The dynamic range in the image in the image so basically how dark and how bright things get isn't too there's not much to uh, there's not too much of a disparity there so i'm gonna grab the shot i'll probably need to focus that because i'm gonna shoot wide um and yeah need to wait and see what i think of it on the computer as i go Okay, I'm working on my composition and it's working out pretty well. Uh, I ended up putting the polarizing on the front because it rained quite a bit yesterday and the mushrooms are wet. I mean, they're quite slimy as, by nature anyway. And I was getting quite a bit of glare and I was losing highlights on the parts where the light was particularly reflecting. So the polarizer is just cutting that out. But what it's also doing is in the distance, there's well not sky in the, in the frame or anything like that but there's brighter parts where the sun's shining through the canopy and reflecting off the leaves of the trees in the frame and what the polarizer does it also cuts down on that so you don't get distracting highlights in the background now with that it would be quite easy to sort out in post but the highlights on the mushrooms you can't get that back unless you stack and I'm having to focus stack anyway, so I'd rather not stack with exposure as well. The light's changing ever so slightly, but the shot works out a lot better when, when it's a bit darker, when it's dimmer. And the problem is with stacking, you sort of take a shot, take, uh, wait, a, wait a couple of seconds, especially that these frames are like two seconds uh, exposures. So, three shots you're looking at about 10 seconds with waiting in between to stop camera shake and yeah just um finding it a bit challenging because by the time i get to the third shot the exposure is different and i'd rather have it have the light exactly the same throughout i know i can fix it in lightroom later but i'd rather shoot it as it should be so i think it's getting a bit dimmer again so let's take the shots okay shot one focusing on the nearest mushroom shot number two focusing on the second mushroom Shot number three, focusing on the th furthest mushroom, so the largest one. And the fourth shot, focusing to infinity. Okay, now four frames may be a bit of over, a bit of an overkill, but I want to be safe. I can always miss out one or two, uh, well, probably not two, but I can always miss out one of them if I don't think it's necessary when I open it up on a computer. But the thing is, when you're back at home, you can't come back here <laughs> and reshoot it because, one, the conditions are going to be different and mushrooms don't stick around for too long. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's better to get more frames in where you need and then not use them than the other way around. Because the last thing you want to do is come back home and not have the shot you wanted because one of the frames didn't quite turn out or you need one more shot for focus stack. Okay, so that's the first shot in the bag, literally. Um, what I quite like about that one, potentially, is the fact that those mushrooms aren't necessarily going to come back in the same way, in the same place. So it could be one of those shots that's never going to be taken again. Hopefully it works out. Right, let's carry on. I think I may have found another composition, but I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna need the 70 to 200, so let's get set up and have a look. <laughs> okay, so I've got my composition set up. Well, composition, I'm trying to decide what exactly my composition is going to be, whether I go a little bit wider or whether I properly zoom in. I know I'm done, that I'm going to go with a um, shallow depth of field, but I'm still trying to decide on what exactly I'm going to put in the frame. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So, this is going to be my subject. Okay, you've got the little tree stump there, and then just above the tree stump, there are those okay and at the moment i'm not sure whether i include the whole tree stump or just the tip of it so we're looking at something like this or at something like this just vertical i'll probably end up taking a few shots and then make my mind up at home and to top it off, the battery in the mic, which has never run out on me ever, has just come up with a low battery warning. So, uh, probably not gonna record too much longer. This is probably gonna be the last shot. And the light's coming out, so, uh, I don't know. Different compositions, potentially. Definitely a good day out, though having similar sort of issues as I did before with the light basically coming in and out you can see all the bright streaks coming in and out you sort of fades out and then comes back in and the problem is I want to have even light between the exposures I'm having to focus stack again I'm shooting at uh, there we go I'm shooting at 200 mil so even at f11 the depth of field it's pretty shallow so yeah at the moment I'm focus stacking on the moss and then another folk another image for the actual berries there so. the lights just gone in let's take the shots <laughs> okay so shot number one focusing on the moss in front of the berry And shot number two, focusing on the actual berries and you can see what I'm talking about, the light being a pain coming in and out. I'll need to reshoot that, but gives you an idea of what I'm working on. Uh, why is it cloudy and dull when you don't want it to be and then 
when you want a bit of cloud cover to soften down the light, it goes, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to get the direct sunlight. The only saving grace is that at the moment, because of the trees in the background, it's not shining directly onto my subject, so it's not too bad. Okay, enough with, uh, with the complaining about the sun. Um, may have actually turned out okay in the end. I, I reshot it with the light coming down directly onto it, and it may actually be the better shot, so may, I may owe the sun an, an apology. <laughs> Right, I'm done here. I want to go for a walk. The battery in the mic's dying. Yeah, want to stretch, stretch my legs. When you're spending all your time down there, nearly on your knees. Yeah, it's going to be nice to walk around a little bit. Right, let's get a move on. So nice to be out and about. So peaceful as well. Not too many people about because it was quite dull in the morning, so everybody stayed home and they're slowly starting to make their way in, but yeah, still fairly quiet. Apart from the uh, race tannoy <laughs> going on. Right, so that's gonna be it from me for today. Only a quick one. So now, you. Get off the sofa, get off your chair, get out there, take some pictures, enjoy the outdoors, because it's pretty awesome. See you in the next one.